Hello, party people. Today, I'm setting up for Eleanor's birthday party. You know, some people ask us if we planned out their birthdays to have them all so close together near the holiday season. And to them, I say, no, absolutely not. I'm losing my mind. Tomorrow, Eleanor is having a birthday party. Thankfully, it's at 4 p.m. Good planning on my part. Thanksgiving was yesterday. Today is Black Friday. I need to run to the store and grab some things for her party. I feel like it's not gonna be that crowded because most of the Black Friday shopping nowadays are spent online. This is my hot cocoa with four extra shots of sugar. I'm just kidding, it's water because it purifies the soul. Actually, I read that water gives you just as much energy as coffee. Is that true? I'll never know. When I get home from the store, I'll show you everything that I got for her party and then we'll start setting things up. Okay, time to share everything that I got for the party. This is over, I don't know, a couple weeks I've been just, if I see something, I pick it up or whatever. Where should we begin? Oh my gosh, did I even tell you? Eleanor's turning eight and we're doing a rainbow themed party. Welcome in, welcome in. <laughs> Eleanor is 100% that girl. So I'm doing, I'm trying my best for her, okay? Let's start out over here. I randomly found these rainbow marshmallows and uh, the weather seems to be like it's going to be decent tomorrow so I think I'm gonna make like a hot cocoa bar. And I figured I'll just put these out. Kids love to eat those. These are actually going on her cupcakes. They're similar to these but they're longer so I can like make a rainbow on top of the cupcake instead of buying like cupcake toppers or whatever. So I got two bags of those I wanna make 48 cupcakes and then the unicorn poop I thought oh my gosh this is so much fun and I figured I can put that on the hot cocoa bar or I'm not making like a hot cocoa charcuterie and then the kids can just pick at it I don't even care it might just end up like dump 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 eat whatever you see okay and then I found these randomly did where I don't even know where I found these they were five dollars which seems a bit ridiculous she might get these as a birthday gift or a Christmas gift I haven't decided this is a lot of sugar happening right here and then I went to Target Oh my gosh, you guys, my first balloon arch. It's not even like a proper arch, it's pretty small. Listen, I have to start small. I don't know who I think I am. I'm doing it for Eleanor, man. <laughs> she likes this kind of stuff. Uh, the backdrop that I have planned, I actually got off Amazon. This is not what I thought it was. Uh, this is gonna be raining down, raining down on me. That's not rain at all. Well, it could be out of the clouds, but it's not. A rainbow comes after rain, right? Anyway, we'll see how it looks. I don't know. I had this whole plan of like having a really cute backdrop and I don't know, I had a few different options on Pinterest, but this is apparently what I landed on. When I served to her her cupcake, I have like a cake tray that my mom gave me. Well, I mean, she kind of gave it to me. I don't know, I kind of took it from her. But I, I feel like if I can't use it for an occasion like a birthday, when the heck else am I going to use it? So I'll just like put those around and maybe it'll fill up the space, I don't quite know. Okay, so for one of the activities for her birthday party, I'm just gonna lay out like a beads, like make your own necklace or bracelet kit. So I got this off of Amazon, they're the clay beads. They seem to be pretty trendy these days, so I got those, but then I thought, I don't know, those are really small, and then I found these with actual rainbow beads, and I thought that was really fun too. And then I saw these, and she specifically asked for the letters, and these just, I don't know, I feel like these are bigger. They were $7 cheaper than on Amazon, I'll tell you that much. And then I found these with the rainbow color. So she, there, her and her friends are gonna have a lot of options when it comes to bead making. Oh, for the table, so I got some tablecloths. These will be like for the activities. And then I got this one for the food table. It's more like metallic. It was more expensive than these. These were like $2.50, which I should have gone to the Dollar Tree like I normally do. But it's whatever, like I just did not wanna go to another store. And then, but this one was more. And I thought, oh, well, maybe I can wipe it down and keep it forever because that's how I roll. And then uh, I'm gonna decorate a number eight. I did it with Meredith's party and it came out really great, A, but 
they don't have rainbow tulle. So instead what I found is this rainbow ribbon. I guess it's, is it rainbow? Kinda, it's rainbow enough. Well, these, this looks better. And now I'm wondering, did I get the same ribbon or is this completely different? It's whatever, it's good enough, we'll make it work. And then I tried to find like rainbows to paste on it because with Meredith I did snowflakes, but I could just, I don't know, we'll try to make it work. On her table though, I was saying on the food table, on the front of it, I found this, whatever this is called, it's like rainbows and clouds garland, would you call it garland? I don't know. Another activity that we're gonna make is uh, cardboard rainbows. It's just like any anytime there's like glue involved, eight-year-olds eat that stuff up. So I found this uh, this square like tissue paper kind of material. What is this actually called? Tissue square. Hey, look at me, no one's stuff. I'll just lay that out. They can paste it on their rainbows and have a heck of a time. What is this? Oh, it's a sticker, but really it's like a plushy thing. This is more like a gift for Eleanor. She enjoys squishies like these, so. I'll either put this out or just give it to her as a gift. I haven't decided yet. Clearly, I don't have my life together. Ooh, my gosh, it's the first time I bought like themed plates for a party. It's all for Eleanor, right? It's all for her. Dinner plates, 20 count. This was $3 for 20 plates. Man, I bet I'm gonna wipe them and have them reuse it, okay? That's all I'm saying. And then I found these napkins. These were at Hobby Lobby. A lot of the crafting stuff was at Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, the pinata was at Hobby Lobby, 10 bucks. Best price I found on a pinata. Obviously, it's not filled. And then I found this at Hobby Lobby too, and I wanna say it was like $3. Great price, it wasn't even on sale, it's just like normal price. I found the same stick at Target, five bucks. I found that tiered tray at Target. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I don't know. You guys know I'm not a tiered tray kind of gal. I tried it in my past, it just has never worked out. But I thought with food, it's always good to like elevate it. So we'll see what, what I end up doing with that. I cannot find my food coloring anywhere, so I had to buy more. I'm so unorganized in my pan. My pantry is a mess. Basically, my whole life is a mess. I'm just working through it. So for the pinata bags, I had the option to buy like pink and blue bags, like the little gift bags, little ones, you know. But it was five dollars for 12 or I could spend two dollars and 50 cents on 20 so you know what option I went with I needed a lighter can never find one anywhere so I'm gonna write my name on this and say Alex do not touch and hopefully he'll well he won't listen it doesn't matter I found some baking cups oh my gosh how many are in here 30 I need more than that oh crap it's got some glue got some mallows because I want to make some rainbow rice krispies if you will but they're fruity pebbles instead did you know fruity pebbles are gluten-free I didn't know that just found that out this rainbow I got from Hobby Lobby too I'll either hang it on her backdrop oh gosh what are we gonna do with her backdrop or I'll just set it on the table I haven't fully decided yet this is a gift for Eleanor she loves uh, th that's for me <laughs> She loves uh, notebooks, having notebooks and stuff, so I just got that for her. And some candles, obviously. Can't have a birthday without candles. And then balloon kit. Listen, you're gonna have to help me through this. I'm just saying they might not work. I might not finish these, but we're gonna try our best. And that is the whole haul lot. Let's get started. It's time to set up for the party. I wanted to mention all those rainbow things that I bought for the party. They will eventually make their way to Eleanor's room because I figure kill two birds with one stone. She has a brand new room to decorate and she has a party that needs decor. It's like perfect. The first thing I wanna do is set up the backdrop, but the first thing I'm actually going to do is uh, bake the cupcakes. I'm gonna throw those together. I actually ran to the Dollar Tree this morning. There's something wrong with me. And I thought, I don't know if this is, I don't know, I was way overthinking it. So then I ended up with this. All the colors of the rainbow. We're missing orange, but it's fine. I got two pinks, one is dark, one is light. Maybe I'll throw it on a table. Uh, and then instead of balloons, I did get the balloon arch. I could always return it. I don't know, I'm so intimidated by making a balloon. It's not even an arch, I don't know, a balloon string. Anyway, these are uh, tissue pom-poms, and I feel like they are user-friendly and a lot easier. Okay, so first I'm gonna throw together the cake. Oh my gosh, cookies. Oh yeah, I forgot Eleanor asked for a cookie cake. Okay, that comes second string. All right, we're on a time constraint at this point. I got four boxes of this. Do you know how much gluten-free 
cake mix is, it's a lot. It's over $5 for one box, and it only, I feel like it only makes 12. I think that's the case. It like makes less, and it, you char you're charged double. It's whatever, at least we have an option for gluten-free, dairy-free cake which makes Eleanor and Avelina very happy, so let's whip this up. And I don't even wanna talk about the cost of dairy-free butter. We need some of that to be melted. Some eggs, oh my gosh, Farm Fresh, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Kimberly Whisk, and uh, I, apparently I don't wash my bowls efficiently, which is fine, it's fine. Also, pretty sure something in my fridge is dead. I can't figure it out. I cleaned it out for Thanksgiving and I don't know, it still smells, so something's in there. You wanna come over and help me figure it out? No? Okay, that's fair. So I'm just gonna melt three sticks of butter because if you don't know how to make a boxed cake mix, tastes like a bakery, tastes delicious. I mean, listen, we do our best with the gluten-free, dairy-free stuff, but if you have normal stuff, I'll tell you a secret. Let's say it together because I feel like I've told you enough times. The secret to a box cake mix making it delicious is substituting milk for water, adding an extra egg, and butter for oil. If it calls for oil, if it calls for butter, add a little more. Cheers, that's right, we said it together, well done. How did I get chocolate on me already? Maybe that's a sign, I need to eat some chocolate. I'm just gonna dump in all of the cake mix. Oh my gosh, do I need a bigger bowl? And then eight eggs. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought that was a shell. Ooh, I almost got really embarrassed. Two at a time, unless one cracks, forces you to do one at a time. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Something got on my dress. I, is that butter? Oh no. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. I'm ruined. I'm, so, I'm actually pretty upset. You see, this is why you don't get dressed for the party until it starts. How did that even get on me? All right, then let's put this butter in, cook those eggs up, and then three cups of the liquid of your choice. I'm choosing extra creamy oat milk. Uh, wish me luck. This looks like it's going to be a mess. Uh, crack that whip. Oh, I didn't add an extra egg. Oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me. See, what would I do without you? Gonna make it extra dreamy and creamy. Most expensive cake I've ever made. Okay, this looks pretty done to me. Let's get the cupcake liners. I looked for a very long time for my cupcake tray. I looked everywhere. You guys, when I tell you I can't find anything in this house, I'm not lying. Guess where it was? The last place I looked, that's right. If I had the chance, I'd probably break free. I could have my weights and I could let it be. I could what I want, but it's just an illusion, illusion. Yeah, I sometimes feel like I can go up. I'm drinking beer right out my coffee cup. I wanna do what I want, it's just an illusion, illusion. Try to come around, but I know it's gonna take a while. So, what I wanna into the oven. Ah, who the heck knows? Ah, I didn't preheat my oven. Okay, let's move on to this backdrop. I have to tell you something. I, uh, so I was thinking, the kids are this little, and the backdrop is this big, and then the, the whatever, the clouds are at the top, and no one's even going to see them. Visually, we will see them, so that's why I'm gonna do it. Let's see what this is gonna look like, okay? I have some sticky tack to hang all of the tablecloths. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's the first time I'm doing this, so fingers crossed. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm going to rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. What it's like to be broke. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. 
I won't slow down. Don't you slow down now. Okay, let me tell you something for real. If I were to do this all over again, I would... Uh, well, you know, I, uh, I don't know what I would do again, but I would probably get the white balloons that we had with the, what was I trying to make with the balloons? I don't know. I was trying to make something. You'll see it later in the video. It's, it'll be a surprise to both of us, apparently. I would put the white balloons up there because I think they look more airy, but those worked out. I mean, they don't, they definitely didn't look like clouds, but it's like good enough. You know what I mean? To be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way Okay, we finally finished the backdrop. Uh, took a lot of trial and error, I guess. The sticky tape is really working hard for us. Hopefully, it stays, I don't know, some of the drapes are already falling, but it does look cute. The clouds are totally unnecessary for the actual pictures that will be happening. Maybe I have a rainbow I can like hang in the middle. We'll see, we'll do our best. The cupcakes are coming out, which is nice. Let's move on to another project. Okay, next I'm gonna start on the number eight. I guess this is now a tradition in the family. Uh, really, I've only done it one time with Eleanor and I just thought it was so cute. I may also need a hot glue gun, but I'm not sure I have any glue sticks left. I know I have a whole pack of glue sticks somewhere in arts and, my arts and crafts supplies. Oh yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, uh, this won't fit through the middle. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Okay, this is great. It's gonna be great. Okay, well, we'll just do our best here. Oh, well, that's not much at all. This is not much at all. Let me get some tape. I don't think I have enough to cover this thing. Well, it didn't even cover half of it. Oh, boy. Does this have more? Two yards. What was I thinking? Great. What do we do? You know what I'm thinking? Maybe this won't be a tradition. <laughs> I think that I'm going to hide it. Somewhere by a gate it starts Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade oh. I could be the one who saved you from this hard place We could be as one and we'll escape We could run away, we don't gotta stay While that chorus repeats for 700 more times, I might as well jump on. Listen, when I tell you this number eight almost gave me a mental breakdown, gave me a mental break, is that the right verbiage? Word, oh my gosh, let me start over. <laughs> this number eight nearly drove me insane. I was running around my house trying to find glue. Look, I even have tacky glue. I think I brought out wood glue. I thought, Kim, what is happening? Just it's stop making it such a big deal. So I finally grabbed some command, they're not hooks, there is just command sticky Velcro tape or whatever it is. And I found some in my crafting kit. It's no big deal. I just cut them into really small pieces and taped them on and made it work. And that's all you can do is just your best and you make it work. And that's what I did. And you know what? Eleanor saw it and she said, mom, that's fantastic. And she loved it as if it was never supposed to be anything other than what it turned out to be. And I think it turned out pretty cute. Better than nothing is what I like to say. <laughs> Low expectations. <laughs> okay. The number eight is kind of done. Oh, I forgot I wanted to add these things. I don't know, now it might be just too busy if two I add extra. two extra. Two, oh, oh, this Alex over here says two extra. All right, well, I'll listen to him. I have a little rainbow I thought maybe to put on, but he's right. You'll listen to me and I'm right. My life has meaning. It came out better than I thought it was going to. I had a little mini mental breakdown, but this is good enough. 
Perfect. Oh my gosh, does it even stand up? Good. Nope. All right, well, whatever. Moving on. I'm gonna move on to rainbow cardboards that I have to make for an art, arts and crafts project. I found these at Target, it's a three count. So I figured I could make, I don't know, two on each one. I don't have a compass, so I need to make a template at the Dollar Tree. I thought they sold compasses. Turns out I couldn't find it. I'm just gonna, I don't know, cut all the rainbows out. As with everything I do in my life, I made this way more complicated than it needed to be. <laughs> you guys, you know, I see things on Pinterest and when there's not like a clear tutorial or a blog post with 700 different pictures or a DIY step by step, I'm just basically lost. I'm not a crafty type of person. I can recreate things kind of similar good enough style but when it came to this I just kept thinking I need a compass couldn't find a compass I need a template and then I tried to make a template and I was like forget this this is ridiculous like the first rainbow I made looked horrible and then I kept trying to fix it I was like for I'm just gonna freehand this crap and my freehand rainbows came out great and no one cares if they're all the same size or whatever the kids literally didn't care they're gonna you know, make their craft, bring it home, hang it on their fridge for a week, and then it's going to end up in the recycle bin, most likely. You know what I mean? Like, this is not going to be something that they're going to keep forever and ever and always. It's whatever, like, just, I just kept telling myself, it's not a big deal. Stop putting so much, like, pressure. I wasn't putting pressure on myself, but I wanted the rainbows to look good, and they weren't. <laughs> the beginning so then when I cared less I was like yeah they, these look great so there's my tip to you okay oh my gosh finally finished I have 36 rainbows some are more questionable than others so this is one of the arts and crafts projects hopefully the kids have a blast with this all I have to say is my fingers hurt have they made a scissor that is ergonomic yet? I feel like my thumb is gonna fall off. One year for a Toy Story birthday party, I sewed and cut out felt and whatever. I made um, like horses, like stick horses. Oh my gosh. My hands were about to fall off, promise. And that is not a dramatization. We're gonna move on to the Fruity Pebbles treats. Uh, Fruity Pebbles Rice Krispie treats, whatever you want to call them. Um, I'm doubling the recipe that I found, and by when I say I found, I mean is in my head. I think for normal ones, you use a half a stick of butter, uh, I'm, so I'm going to use a whole stick. If you have like a tried and true Rice Krispie recipe, uh, you use that. I don't know, I've never messed up Rice Krispies, so. Although I'm not sure if I've ever used dairy-free butter when making them, but for Meredith's birthday party, I, I made popcorn balls. Did I use dairy-free butter for that? I feel like I did, and it turned out just fine. You also need 10 ounces of marshmallows. This is all the store had, these jumbo ones. And then you know what? I have these jumbo ones from a while ago. Look at the difference in size. I mean, these are jumbo, these are gigantic. And since I'm doubling the recipe, I'm putting in 20 ounces of the jumbo marshmallows. You can use mini marshmallows, they'll melt a lot faster. Since I'm doubling the recipe, I need two trays. Uh, these are eight by 13, I think. I'm just going to grease them and make sure nothing sticks. You can use spray or whatever you have, but I just like to use the skin of the butter just so I don't waste it. Nothing goes to waste here, except for when my children put ketchup on everything. Yeah, I don't save that. Make sure you mix this up so it doesn't stick to your pan. It sure smells like something is burning already. Hi, Kevin. Hey, Christian. How was your trip? They are mostly melted. I turned the heat off, and I'm going to add 10 cups of the pebbles. A one, a two, don't lose track. A four, a five, never look back. I've lost track. Is that six? A seven. Is there 10 cups in here? Eight, nine. Oh yeah, plenty to spare. This looks so beautiful and fantastic. Oh, it's still on the heat. I wonder if I should 
move the pot. Hold on. Too much going on. Oh my gosh, this looks so fun. And you know what? If I wasn't burnt out from moving and having Meredith's party and then Thanksgiving, I could maybe shape these into rainbows. So there's an idea. I just feel like this is good enough. You know what I mean? That's the theme of my life. That's my motto right out on my gravestone. It's good enough. Oh, I might have to add a little more a fruity pebble. It's a little marshmallowy. All right. And you know what? I think there's hardly any left. Yeah. Like, what am I going to do with that? Leave it in my cupboard to go bad? No one's going to eat that. I'm just going to dump it all in. One whole box. Love that. Love a recipe that uses the entire thing. All right. Well, it's still pretty marshmallowy, <laughs> but we're going to work with that. The kids love it. It's sugar, right? So let's put this in the pan. Now I'm thinking, oh, maybe we can put them all in the same pan and make really thick, thick ones. All right, half in here, half in here. It'll be great. I'm gonna spray my spatula so nothing sticks to it. And then I'm just gonna pat everything down. I think more got in here, so I'll just do that. My family and I get together once a month and we always have it like a themed dinner. And uh, one time we had unicorn theme and these were made and Eleanor absolutely loved them. So I know she's going to be really happy about them. Something about spreading these out, I really enjoyed. <laughs> so I thought I would leave this in here just in case maybe you enjoy it too. All right, I think those are looking pretty good. And now I have to wash this. This is definitely a soaker. Just let these cool and then we're gonna cut them into squares. I'm attempting to do something that I've never done before, which is make something out of balloons. I'm not a balloon artist, I'm not a clown. I'm not even a Pinterest perfect mom. Uh, yeah, here I am. Eleanor loves this kind of stuff. So we actually filmed and then my camera fell. And so all the stuff got deleted, which is uh, awesome. Love when that happens. So we've been blowing up these white balloons trying to blow these up. We almost passed out and called 911 because these balloons are so hard to pump up. Alex found us this. He bought it, what, four years ago or something? Why are balloons so hard? <laughs> My chest hurts. Call 911. I need a paramedic. Into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but this is why I don't do stuff like this. I got a headache. Girl, My lungs hurt. Something <laughs> on your mind. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like this. Well, T minus five minutes until the party begins, or at least that's how I feel. I'm going to start on the icing, which is my favorite part. This is why people buy birthday cakes. I don't even wanna know how much a gluten-free, dairy-free birthday cake would be if a normal birthday cake is uh, too expensive for me. Okay, I am making a double batch of icing. Alex just asked me a head count for the amount of kids coming. Literally couldn't give one too many. So the more icing, the better. I hope we have enough cupcakes for everyone. Don't think we're going to. People will live. All right, I'm just gonna whip that. It's dairy free, I don't, I don't know. So with dairy butter, you whip the butter for like a solid five minutes. And that's what makes it like creamy and dreamy buttercream. But with dairy free butter, I'm not even sure it makes a difference. I do want it nice and aerated and whipped. So I am gonna let this whip for a while. Um, I'm probably going to add close to eight cups of powdered sugar, just a couple at a time, and then let it whip for two minutes in between. While that's whipping up, I'm going to start setting up the food table. Do I have everything for it? Who knows? I'm driving, you're smiling, just really. Keep 
keep on driving, we just do what we wanna do. Yeah, no, nothing's complicated. First time I filled a pinata. One time I made a pinata, and I don't know what I filled it with. I can't remember. It was when Eleanor turned one. We had a tangled party. Was it Eleanor or Avelina? Someone had a tangled party. Cut here to fill. Where? I'm supposed to fill candy in this teeny tiny hole. Ooh. All right, I've got a lot of candy in here. Somehow I feel like I'm not gonna be able to fill it up. Oh crap, these are not individually wrapped. That's really annoying. Oh gosh, that's terrible. I guess I'll just put those on a bowl on the table. I did not know. Ugh. Skittles, Starburst, and uh, sweet parts it is. All right, I guess we take that closed again. Very good. I'm gonna reserve some white icing just for the clouds on the cupcakes, and then I'm gonna dye the rest oh, blue. Cool. I'm gonna add some blue in here. Not too much, because I want it like sky blue. Let's watch the transformation. That looks like a good color blue. I don't know if it's too early to ice the cakes, but here I go. I'm gonna try to get some food ready and gathered. People who are here are already eating it. So normally I would maybe cut the tops off these, but this is fine. And that looks beautiful. I'm just gonna dump the grapes in here. I did wash everything, so no worries about that. Calm down. Grapes, strawberries, uh, good choices. Healthy choices here. I'm gonna start on the cupcake, icing the cupcakes. I think it's crunch time now. Okay, it's crunch time. Here's the difference between preheating your oven and not preheating your oven. The difference between having patience and not having patience, but icing will cover that right up. Oh my gosh, I'm so out of shape. I'm not really sure how I'm going to ice these. What is that? Oh, Fruity Loops? I think I have a, just an open round tip on here. It's just supposed to look like clouds. If you wanna smear it out, you can do that. I don't wanna like waste a lot of icing over here, so. There's that, where's my, all right, those aren't clouds, that's the sky. Oh, my battery's dying again. All right, two puffy white clouds on either side. Oh, wow, this icing is pretty thick. Okay, well, that's a really big cloud. Gotta even things out over here. I need to set up an assembly line or something. Oh, no! <gasps> it said rainbow belts, not rainbow pieces of crap. I can't make a rainbow with this. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. What do I do, just that? Oh, I'm so upset right now. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. It's better than nothing. Oh my gosh, why? Oh my god, you did me dirty. I bought these rainbow belts, Alex, but they're not belts. They're rainbow pieces of crap. Look how small these are. I'm supposed to make a rainbow. I have Either no choice. Any, anything else you need? Exactly. Yeah, I need rainbow belts. Anything else? The long ones. Anything else? My sanity. I would like a day at the spa. All right, it'll be fine. We'll just make really big clouds. Am I supposed to, how many cupcakes do I have? I have too many. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town I've never seen a sky so blue We don't have a plan and the night is young It doesn't matter what we do There ain't nobody like There ain't nobody like You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky 
Okay, we did as many as we could with the rainbows, and then you see some back there that are without clouds and rainbows. But I feel like they could look a lot better, but they also good enough, right? <laughs> okay, I've done my best to set up sweet Eleanor's, and then this is the rest of the cupcakes. I'm gonna try to hide them because the kids are, are already asking for them. This is the spread so far until we get sandwiches and chicken and everything. There's that, and there's a shot of that with the rainbow in the background. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to set up the craft tables. I cannot find a picture frame to save my life. Uh, my plan was I just made this on Canva, printed it out. I was going to put this in a little picture frame and put it somewhere on this table, but here are all the beads that I got set up, so everyone will enjoy a little bead craft. All right, here's the rainbow craft. It is great. I just grabbed little Pyrex bowls and put the tissue papers in there. This is half the tissue papers, and it's like, I don't know, 8,000 pieces or something ridiculous. All right, here are the tables for everyone to eat. Gorgeous view. Why would we want people to eat inside when they can eat out here? It is gorgeous out today. The weather is fantastic. Um, someone picked up balloons. Yeah, I mean a bunch of people are already here, which is great. Thank you so much for coming early <laughs> uh, But yeah, someone picked up balloons. So this this is Eleanor's table. Why is she sitting alone? I assume we'll just sing happy birthday, and then she'll move and sit with her friends Alex likes this setup the sandwiches have arrived Love those carbs Publix deli is the best. I got a really cute rainbow dress from Meredith Oh, Miss Meredith. There's the birthday girl. I'm trying to get her with the clouds in there. Uh, it's not gonna work out. It'll work out on my phone, probably. A. E. Oh, so sweet. Make that. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. What is it doing? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> well, that looks good. Yeah, the whole presentation. Yeah, the rainbows. Still waiting on our chicken platter, but otherwise it looks fantastic. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. This number eight does not stand up straight. It's a piece. Ha! Okay, we are setting up some hot cocoa. I did not get to setting up my hot cocoa bar, but it is getting quite chilly outside, so I'm just gonna set up these cups. I have water hopefully starting to boil, and then I have water in my kettle. Fingers crossed, it boils fast. It I'm is my like party. I'm my hot taco to like warm my hands. Oh, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Time to do the pinata. It's the day after, because we forgot to do it the day of. But look how many people are here still. <laughs> Plenty, and there's more children out back. So, wish us luck, it's gonna be great. <laughs> I did not take a lot of footage from the actual birthday party, but it was a great turnout. Eleanor had a fantastic time with all of her friends. Um, you know, everyone was just enjoying outside. I don't know if I even showed it, but we have a bounce house 
Um, it's like a ninja obstacle course. So everyone was really excited for that as well. And it was also a sleepover. <laughs> I don't know if I shared that. So they had fun until the wee hours of the morning and then woke up early the next day and did that pinata that you saw. And the next day we actually had more people. It's Our doors are always open. Okay, you guys know how it is here. Okay, guys. I'm literally saying goodbye to you in my pantry because the house is so loud. It's a sleepover. There's kids running around everywhere. It's the sound of joy, but it is not the sound where uh, you can hear me say goodbye. But that is a wrap. Thank you guys for hanging out with me, prepping for a birthday party. Oh my gosh, guess what? We forgot to do the pinata. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. I kept it out of sight. Meredith got into the pinata stick and that was a whole thing. So I said, put it up but then I completely forgot about it when it came time. So it is a sleepover. We'll get to it tomorrow. It'll be grand. A lot of people came, they enjoyed the backyard, they enjoyed the bounce house, they enjoyed hanging out. Eleanor enjoyed everyone's company. It was a grand old time, so I cannot believe she's eight years old. It's blowing my mind. She's at the age where I can see a difference with her appearance, like she looks older. So that's a lot mentally. Anyway, thank you again for hanging out. Everything turned out great. <laughs> if you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.